Hello guys, welcome to today's class where we'll be looking at another property of binary operations. We'll be looking, this property in this case will be, it is called the what? The commutative property. It is also known as commutativity and then it just basically involves relating to two variables or two objects. Relating them in such a way that what? They have a reverse, a reverse relationship. That is, the relationship is almost equally reversible. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean, in a relationship where you have in a relation where you have a particular op in an operation, you have A operation B. In order to express its commutativity, it needs to be equal to what to B operation A. That is just the idea of commutativity. That's what that, that is when you have two objects A and B, and then you are relating them with an operation A operation B. It should also be the same thing as B operation A. So in a case where your A operation B is the same as your B operation A, then we say the operation asterisk here. Yeah, is commutative under whatever sets we are using. So that is what the distance. So in this case, in a case where we have something like this, where A and B are elements of the set R, then I can say that was this is what this is. They are what they are actually commutative. But if they are not if they are not equal, that means what it is not they are not the operation there is not commutative under the set R. That means under the set R. So for commutativity. We will consider some examples. The first example we consider here, we have something like this. Now, in this question, we have an operation as test is defined under a set R of real numbers, x operation y equals to x squared plus 2xy plus y. Determine if the operation is commutative under set R. If you look at this, we realize that was, we have an operation x operation y equals to x squared plus 2xy plus y. We can decide to use particular values, that is, particular elements of set R. Any two particular elements of set R to so actually test to see if this is commutative. But in other cases, we might not need to do that. Why? Because we can actually deduce from even just looking at the formula we're given, we can know whether we'll be having the same thing. So, in order to do that, you know, for commutativity, remember that for commutativity, x operation y is the same thing, should be the same thing. As y operation x. That is, even if their places, even if their positions are reversed, they should still have the same values. So in this case, in not in our uh, another to reverse this, I can say, therefore, my y operation x here, my x will not be taking my y position, and then my y will be taking my x position. And instead of x square, I will have y square plus two y x plus x. And since they're supposed to be the same thing, I'll try to equate both of them. That is, in a case where x and y are not equal, as I will not say then, for commutativity then, I should have x squared plus 2xy plus x equals to, rearranging this, okay, let me not rearrange first, let's just substitute, this one was y squared plus 2yx plus x. We can rearrange the, the second part to the right hand side, we can rearrange the right hand side, to become x plus, you know, 2yx is still the same thing as 2xy plus y squared. If you look at it, you realize that these two are not the same thing. They are never the same thing. Why? Because the square in the first, in the left hand side is on the x, and the square in the, le, the right hand side is on the y. The x in the right hand side doesn't even have a square, while the y on the right hand side also doesn't have a square. So they are not equal. So because they are not equal, then I need to show that they are not equal. I mean, I put a sign here, and this sign shows that what that since since x operation y since x operation y is not equal to y operation x, then I can deduce. I can deduce that what. That the operation consider since this one then then operation asterisk is not commutative under sets R. So that is just the meaning of this. Because they are not equal, then it means that was this operation is not commutative under set R. And that is the basis of commutativity. In the next class, we'll be looking at another example that will be showing us our idea of commutativity and how we can actually explain it. See you next class.